Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of John Plays Games. I'm Dylan filling in for John. This is NWR TV. I'm here. And there's a pre-rendered cutscene. This is like a propaganda video or something, with this music behind it. This would make a great Disney World ride. Yeah. You know, like this is your debriefing before you go on the mission. Yeah. Yeah. Understood. And there would be like the like token celebrity appearance. I always know? pictured it would be like Star Tours. Yeah. The Star Fox ride would be like Star Tours. That'd be a lot of fun. Like just like a theater that you sit in that shakes and it's in 3D. And imagine and, like Rob 64 is just like sitting where right. C3PO is. Well, imagine doing a barrel roll in one of those. Just like oh. phew, yeah. that would be so much fun. So many people would die. Oh, here's... Okay, so we're tying it into uh, Star Fox Adventures now. Oh, okay. The Aperoids just attacked Saria, um, a name for Dinosaur Planet that was never actually used in, uh, in Star Fox Adventures. Don't worry about it. They didn't want to call it Dinosaur Planet. Yeah. Okay, let's move. They're attacking Dino Land. Head down to the surface. Falco and Slippy, the skies are yours. A mission together at last. Oops. Uh, yeah. What are you two doing? Let's go! Just bang already. <laughs> Nothing like the sight of dead dinosaurs to really just get the fox blood pumping. Right, like this is this is Crystal's planet, and that's what she's thinking. Like, hmm, finally a mission together with Fox. <laughs> My people are suffering. I hear. Dino, I'm really into this. Dino carcasses are nice and soft. Yeah, we can make sweet love in one. Yeah, I remember it from the previous level. <laughs> Watch the gauge and go the sky um, necessary. so I really like this game. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hate this level. Do you? Yeah. But it does yeah, have... Yeah, worthless piece of crap. It Sorry. does have some of the only original music in this game. It's any good? Um, it's hard to hear. But it's good. And if you... I didn't notice Crystal's all of a sudden really passionate, like on the verge of tears. Yeah. We will save Sauria. Right after Fox, we Fox, what bang. are you doing later? <laughs> Hi there. Jeez. I, I, I can't. There's a rock. There's, I can't overcome this rock. <laughs> target destroyed. Nicely done, Fox. Take out the remaining targets. Thanks for doing your job, Fox. Take these out, so that when I have to go airborne, they're not a problem. Because it's one of those levels where it's like the Sargasso Space Zone, where you have to get in your ship occasionally, and right. But it's like all drawn out, and these are a virtual stronghold. It's like you don't fit in any of the places you need to go, right? And like the transfer, not the transfer devices, the replicators or whatever they're called, are. Uh, on really hard to get to. Oh, it's up there. Oops. Yeah, I need to go up there. Got it. Can I get up these stairs as a landmaster? Do you say got it every time you get into your car? Oh, yeah. Like you're running out to your car from work? <laughs> well, I base, I base most of my life off of Fox McCloud. <laughs> Enemy ship down. Every time Katie goes to work. Katie, where are you going? With the landmaster. I'm trying. There we go, I made it. Shoot it. One time, a friend of mine said, do a barrel roll, uh, back when everybody was saying do a barrel roll. Yeah. Uh, and I said, hey, what is that from? And he was like, oh, oh, I know, I know it. I forgot where it's from, but I, I know, I know what it's from. And I'm like, do you? Tell me yep. what, tell yep. me what that's Never from. Never say it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, you don't just reach in and pull out my childhood for your own benefit. Right without being there. Like, you didn't... You don't know how to do a barrel roll. You wouldn't know when to do one if, if you did know how to do it. I hate him! I... <laughs> I completely understand that, that... Well, I mean, it's the same thing, like, when you see somebody, like, wearing a Pink Floyd shirt, and you're like, oh, what's your favorite Pink Floyd song? Money? And they're like, who? Yeah. Like, right. Like, you have no idea who... Right. I like Stairway to Heaven a lot. I would like to get up this stairway. This level reminds me a lot of Road to El Dorado. Yeah. Yeah. 
just kind of during the golden hour. All yeah. The it's pretty. Aztec or oh, jeez. Okay. Is there... There's not a thing in here, so I'm not going to go in here. Um, okay, I should actually be looking at my radar and finding the things. There's... Uh. Look out! Careful. Ow. <laughs> Don't worry, you can just take that. You really... I mean, when you're... The, I mean, I was going to say you're really a tank in this thing. Um, huh. Which is absolutely true. Right. Like, just completely... What's funny is that there's, uh, there's really no excuse for being hit by any of that enemy fire. Like, it's going all of, what, nine miles per yeah. hour Where as it approaches the... your position? Where is this thing? Where is... Uh... It's like looking for the... Whatever is a Twilight Princess, the tier thing. Those friggin' yo oh, man. That's yeah. every time I go back to play that game, I'm like, this will be great. Oh, oh shoot, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing that sucks is like those repeated sort of menial tasks that I think are kind of indicative of many Zelda games. Yeah, always just feel like prep for go going into the real game. So I feel like I'm well, prolonged, like not in the it's real game. Totally, to just it's filler. Right, I have to do all of this before I can actually like get to a real part of yeah. the game. Yeah. But once you get there, Twilight Princess, it's great, you know. Where is the door? Wait, 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 wait. This it's down. Wait, it's down. there. There. That's, oh, okay. that's it. Right there. Right by where I started. Do you level. see some sort of entrance, Fox? Who's shooting at me from outside? No. Die. Also, where where was Peppy there when like you actually needed to find a door? Uh, and now he's just gonna say like, "Hey, Fox, that weapon's not working. How can you even see me?" <laughs> I'm in a cave. This is an area from Adventures. It's where you get the staff power-ups. Isn't this power whole ups. place technically an area? Yeah, I know, I'm just, Adventures. this particular area is like a direct... This is where you can really see, like, the difference in graphical quality. <laughs> right. Between, because this is, like, gorgeous in Star Fox Adventures, and, like, it's all, like, dynamically lit, and you're, like, wa walking through these, like, really cool shadows. And here, it's like, here's a room <laughs> with circles. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look! Circles! It actually reminds me of the place, uh, I think the, um, I bet Tricky's wrong way. the Temple of Light or whatever in Ocarina of Time, where you awake, Temple of the Sages. Yeah, 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 Looks. These similar. things are gomas. Or That's goma true. eggs. Like, they even, like, hatch out. See? Ah! Uh-oh, look out. <coughs> hmm. There it is. One down. Way to go, Fox. Two hatchers remaining. Uh, I'm gonna go in my ship for a little bit and uh, see if I can spot some more hatchers. Jeez, jeez, guys. Really? Got it. Got. Look out. Ow. They're very aggressive. I'm just gonna save Falco. Give me like two seconds and then I'm gonna come get you. You saved me, Fox. I owe you one. Falco's way too nice in this game. Yep. Like You can land in wide areas. What sorry? Why did I Okay. Wait, what did he say? Well no, I just turned around oh. there, and I didn't really want to. In order, I feel like I really needed to. Yeah. Felt like you had some level ahead of you yet. Yeah. How is there still? Why is there? There's still a red mark right down where I just blew that other one up. Things are fine here. How's the sky battle Die! Everything's fine now here. You Thank you. How are you? How are you? Get. I wanted to land there. I wanted to. Here we go. Land up. No. Falco here. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. But I Whoops. just landed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just stood up. <sighs> okay. Can't go get this one. See it on the radar. It's gotta be just right inside here. There it is. 
right up there. Uh. <laughs> I just, I just want to, I just. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have no idea where it is. So on my radar, it sure looks like it should be in this cave system. Because it's at this level. It's right. It just moved, but it's, it's, it's. It's just right. I can't. Maybe it is up here. Oh, it's it right is there. up here. I just went the wrong way before. Never mind. So I'm an idiot. Go. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's that's the thing is you're not even doing very much. You're just. Uh, I think you just died. Yeah, right I'm there. dead now. Yeah. Like you're not even doing very much. You're just doing one menial task. In a level that's like it's very hard to tell where that stuff is. Right. It's it's not that bad on bronze. On like silver and gold mode, there's like a million of them, yeah. and they hide them like on the outside wall of the oh level. Gosh. So you have to like fly out, do a backflip at the edge of the level, <laughs> and then you'll see them for like a couple seconds on the edge, Jeez. facing outwards, and it's like <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. When we come back, there's gonna be a cinematic, but I don't want to put it in this episode because then there won't be a pause point to start the next one. So just know that the next episode is going to be a cinematic. It's going to be great. You're really going to enjoy it, and I think you're really, you're really going to find it worth your time. So subscribe to End of the Wii TV so you don't miss that. And check out NintendoWorldReport.com for lots of other Nintendo coverage, and we will see you guys next time. We're pretty funny, aren't we? Yeah, we're great. We're great. <laughs> we're great.